Welcome to my channel, The Fan Craft. This channel is dedicated to showing you designs as well as tips, tricks and how to make various crafts ranging from hearts, fascinators, hand fan, bouquet and much more. Today I'll be showing you how to make this cute pink fascinator. We'll be needing this flower, needle and thread, P7000, comb, small crinoline and scissors. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut my crinoline. Now I'm checking to see the bow size I would want. That's for the first base. So that's okay. Then I cut it up. Cut three strips, measurement 14, 15 and 16. Next we sew the edges. So we're going to be sewing the two edges of all of the strips that we've cut. Remember the measurements are 14, 15 and 16. So now we're going to do the same to all the edges, like so, all the spaces we're going to sew them. Now it's time to make the bowl. So we're going to put on top of each other like that. Did you see that? Then take your needle in between, in the middle, and take it like that. Yeah, that's the bowl. So we're going to be doing this for the three sizes. Remember it's 14, 15, and 16 inches for the size of bowl. Okay, our three bowls are ready. <coughs> so the next thing we're going to do is you take the biggest bowl, put the next size on top of it, and the smallest on top. Then we're going to sew it that way, we're in the middle there. While you're still watching, I would like to inform you of a great opportunity coming up. I'm going to be doing a free training on some basics of crinoline fascinator, hot wire fascinator. Then from there, we would move up to, for those in a way, since you've gotten that basics, I'll be training on how to design these four fascinators. So if you're interested, do check the description below and click on the WhatsApp group link for further details. Thank you. Back to our DIY triple bow fascinator. So now it's time to attach the comb. Did you see how I place it? And now I'm taking the thread in between, yes, like that, and underneath. There we go. Make sure it's not going to the third layer. You're just taking it through the first layer, the one close to the comb. Next, I'm going to be making the back of our fascinator look good. So I'm going to be using a bias to cover all the thread that are showing everywhere. We add more beauty with flowers. Voila, there it is. Check out the various ways it can be worn. Oh, lovely. Wow. Fantastic. Till I see you in my next video, it's in Kitchi from the vent saying thanks for watching.